Uh, okay, this is another question uh, for my students. Topic is coordinate geometry. Coordinate geometry. Now, IGCSC mathematics. The question is very simple. Simple question here. Uh, find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line joining the point 1, 3, and 4, minus 5. Give you answer yes. They have given to us two points. One point is A, which is word 1 and 3. The other point is B, which is 4 minus 5. Now, if we join them, the points are here. They say find the equation of the perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular bisector means the line which is dividing this A, B into two equal parts and the angle which makes uh, this line which makes with the A, B is always 90 degrees because it's a perpendicular. So perpendicular bisector is the line which is coming, uh, which is coming to intersect are uh, to go through this line AB at the midpoint and the angle is made there 90 degrees. So this is the perpendicular bisector now. Uh, this point is 4 minus 5 and this point is 1, one 3. This, since this point is the bisector, this point is the midpoint, so A is the line's bisector. So this point is the midpoint. So we can call midpoint here and we can find the midpoint using midpoint formula. We add 1 with 4 and divide by 2 and we add 3 with minus 5 and divide by 2. So midpoint becomes uh, 5 over 2 and mm, minus 1. Yes, that's a midpoint. Now how to get the equation of this line? Equation of this line is y is equal to mx plus c. That's equation for every line. So now how to get how to get m where is m look for m first get the gradient of the line ab so gradient gradient of line ab we find this minus 5 minus 3 and 4 minus 1. So result is minus 8 over 3. That is the gradient of line AB. If the gradient of line AB is minus 8 over 3, uh, then the gradient of the perpendicular bisector will be, if this gradient is minus 8 over 3, then this will be 3 upon 8. Because the product should be, see, minus 8 over 3 and 3 over 8 should give you minus 1. That is the rule for the two perpendicular lines. So, we got the gradient of the perpendicular bisector. Now, we draw, we make the equation y is equal to mx plus c. What is m here? m is 3 upon 8. That's, that is m. So, mx plus c. How to find C here? We got y is equal to 3 upon 8x plus C. To find C, look at the, the line. The line is passing through the midpoint. So input this midpoint here. Midpoint is with us here 5 over 2 and minus 1. So minus 1 here, 3 over 8 and 5 over 2 plus C. So we got minus 1 minus 15 over 16. So this is C value. Now C becomes 16 minus 16 and minus 15, which is minus 31 over 16. That's the value of C. So equation becomes now, equation becomes uh, y is equal to 3 over 8 x minus 31 over 16 and they want the equation in which form 
they say give the equation in this form so let's see now what is the LCM here I multiply here by 2 multiply here by 2 so we got 6x and 18 sorry 6x and 16 and here is minus 31 over 16 so the result becomes this is 16 so the result is 16 is the LCM and 6x minus 31 is equal to y so we get 16y is equal to 6x minus 31 now we can also write here 0 or I will write here I will do it here 6x minus 16 y is equal to or 6x minus 16 y minus 31 minus 31 equals to 0 that is the equation So, okay, fine. A lot of his students.